Item number SCP-905-JP Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Attempts to contain SCP-905-JP have been unsuccessful. Agents embedded in commercial airline companies are required to report every relevant event, and all crew and passengers are to be administered amnestics upon landing. SCP-905-JP is a phenomenon occurring on a commercial airliner in service in countries that use English as a primary language. When SCP-905-JP manifests, every noise made by the passengers, crew, and pilot which include footsteps, door opening and closing sounds, sneezes, etc., start creating a certain recognizable rhythm. Thirty minutes after the manifestation of the phenomenon, these noises converge to a characteristic rhythm that is identical to that used in the song, We Will Rock You. All persons within the airplane, including the crew and pilots, will experience a sense of unity and elation amidst a synchronized rhythm, usually producing clapping and stomping sounds. After the onset of the action in unison, a number of physically identical male humanoids of Parsi descent around age 30, termed SCP-905-JP-1, appear from various entrances and compartments within the airplane, such as vacant laboratories, crew rest compartments, and unoccupied baggage compartments. The number of SCP-905-JP-1 instances that appear at once ranges from 3 to 37, and the interviews with exposed passengers show that SCP-905-JP-1 instances are perceived as Freddie Mercury, late frontman of the musical band Queen. After the appearance, SCP-905-JP-1 instances will start singing songs from the band Queen, with accused equipment providing the accompaniment to them. Songs include We Will Rock You, I Want It All, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Innuendo among others, although the repertoires for two given manifestations may be different. Sound sources of Queen for the accompaniment have, to date, not been located. During the occurrence of SCP-905-JP, severe vibrations have been observed in the airplane. These vibrations occur in accordance with music. Lighting flickers in synchronization with SCP-905-JP-1's performance, emitting red, blue, green-colored beams and irradiating lasers for visual effects, like those in concert performances. According to flight recording data, the airplane's trajectory is not properly controlled to resist the vibrations. This suggests that the pilots of the aircraft are also affected by SCP-905-JP. To date, no deaths have been reported, though seven people have suffered minor injuries. One attempt was made to interrupt the effects of SCP-905-JP in the past, by a Foundation agent who was on board the affected airplane by chance. This attempt was hindered due to the crew and other passengers becoming excitable and ignoring the agent. Although a containment team was alerted by the agent and intercepted the airplane after landing, the SCP-905-JP-1 instances were not located. Interviews with crew and passengers have given inconclusive answers about where SCP-905-JP-1 instances went. After this incident, agent in question was proven that he is exhibiting a state of mild excitement by the following effects of SCP-905-JP and was taken into custody. It is theorized that his prior knowledge about SCP-905-JP reduced its effect relatively during exposure. Interviews by Foundation agents revealed that passengers who were exposed to SCP-905-JP come to strongly believe Freddie Mercury is still alive. Moreover, the Foundation occult-related network monitoring teams have reported a rise in conspiracy theories regarding celebrities having faked their deaths. This may indicate the occurrence of similar phenomenon under the unknown circumstances. As of writing, the Foundation's investigation is ongoing on the assumption that unconfirmed SCP-905-JP variants exist. <laughs>